Alright, so let's go across and have a look now at the iPad. So one of the key things you need to know about the device is that it cannot stream to two devices simultaneously. However, you can synchronize it or use it with separate devices uh, within 10 second gaps. So I'm going to close the application. I have to wait 10 seconds before I open the application on the iPad in order for it to uh, allow for switching. So it's just one of the rules we've put into place here. So we've got the DSTV. Okay, so it's connected to a different uh, drifter. Give it a couple of seconds and it'll ask me to connect to the correct one. Okay, this is 2.2. Two. Quickly pick up a defect. So now we're connecting to this device. Um, and it will put all the channels as we see over here. So here are all the channels. We've got the same channels we saw on the iPhone. And it will automatically connect to the last channel you watched. Or if you haven't watched a channel before, it will connect to the top channel on the list. Uh, user interface is relatively similar to the iPhone interface. You've got your volume, inter your volume key here. You've got your signal indicator, your decoder, battery life. Uh, you have the full screen button here, which is quite handy. Now you get full screen video. You've got your entire guide over here, and you can go and see what is going to be playing on that channel next over the next 24 hours. All the information is here. And because the iPad is a uh, multi oriented device, you can watch it vertical, uh, landscape, or portrait. So in the portrait view, you get the guide information at the bottom and you get to see all the channels here and what's on, on the right here. Same information is available on the iPad, all of the same content, that, the same settings that you had on uh, the iPad, device ID, channels, power off USB, and then there's the full screen button over here, which shows you um, the, the, the video in full screen.